welcome back to our channel. Where do we look like we're going? Just look at us. We're going to the beach the playa. in the south of Italy. And apparently the beach we're going to, it's supposedly to be the best beach in Puglia. Uh, this whole like, area, no? Yes, the cleanness, the water should be clear, it should be like the, everything They say good. the Maldives of Italy. It, it's Maldives. Maldives. <laughs> anyway, here we are. We have, we're going four hours. Yeah, and then we, are, we have everything packed. We're going to show you at the beach. We have a cooler box. We have things because today we're not renting an umbrella. Yeah, we're just we're just going, we're going to pitch our umbrella. So guys, let's go. And Patrick is very happy because his car is clean. Yes. And it's already looking like... Anyway, let's go to the beach. It's like, how many minutes is it? 10-15. Uh, 10-15 minutes. We'll see you there. Baby stays in the back, no? See, man. Wait, you want? I find it very weird that I have a cold and it's very hot. But apparently Pancho says the cold is not caused by the temperature cold. It's all in your head is what I'm saying. So I'm hoping being under the sun for a few hours, it's going to unblock everything. If yeah, not, also the sea breeze will be great for you. Pancho believes the sea heals everything. Yeah. It heals depression, it heals anxiety, it heals... I'm not sure about poverty because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you guys believe that when you're at the sea, the breeze, the waves, the water, it has Maybe that healing power. Yes, sure. Yeah, kinda. I actually enjoy it. So it's let's a see. different energy too. By the time we're going back home, I hope my I'll be unblocked. Every air wave in my body will be unblocked. Wow. Okay, we are here and you can tell. Look at all those cars. So many people are at the beach, so chances are <laughs> we are going to find too many people. But we hope we hope to find a nice spot. Yeah, but it's better that way. So guys, yeah, let's unload our car and then head out and see if we find a nice spot to pitch our umbrella. We have a lot, babe. Right here. We have we have a lot to carry, though. You know that. Okay, we just arrived, and like you can see, there's so so many people. But lucky we found a spot. We were looking for a spot where it's not so wavy. You know, I don't like the waves because when they're too much, you feel like they're carrying you. So we're going to pitch our umbrella here. And uh, not we, him. <laughs> He's going to do all the work. He's going to pitch the umbrella. The sand is so hot. But let's, we'll show you guys the setup. Okay, here we are. Today the wind is not so much. No, let's just hope our umbrella won't be blown away. Oh, it's so fine. It's so great. <laughs> I'm about to jump in right now. What do we got here? So we have a cooler box with some ice. We have agua, of course. Water. You never know. Some pineapple chunks for Jojo. Um, we have some ham, huh? right? Some ham from the region. They call it tapocolo. Sure we'll make the sandwich later. It's like for prosciutto, it. yeah. It's, it's a little bit so salty though. It's fine. And then we have... Baby, you're not supposed to be eating. Mm -hmm. So with that, you have this cheese here. Yeah, my favorite cheese. Yeah. The and then we do have bread here. We ate half of this in the morning, by yeah. the way, guys. It's so. the gluten-free one for Jojo, right? And then we have some cherries. Mm -mm. It's, a, it's a cherry season here, by the way. And I know what you're thinking. You think about Pancho. Water, is that it? No. Surprise! There's some OJ here. To make mimosas. To make mimosas for Georgia. Yeah. You like this? How Babe, are you gonna drink that show at them. the beach? He has beer too. <laughs> okay, I have some emergency supplies, of course. <laughs> Can't go wrong. But that's it? We have you don't think that's enough? We have some cookies for Jojo. Let's just say it. And we have some ah, some actual 
few glasses that we can use. For there the... was a thing to make it like yeah, stick it's, down. It's somewhere around here. Right here. It's like a champagne glass. And Ta -da. that's it. As you had Pancho saying, everything is like it's for Jojo, it's for Jojo, it's for Jojo. It's a lie. He also has a lot that he hasn't shown you. He has like six cans of beer. It's just for emergency. Anyway, I just dipped myself and it feels nice. It feels nice, but it's it's kind of scary though. But this Pancho seems like a what is like a shark, like a tiburon. Yeah, I'm a shark. And he enjoys the beach more, but people are starting to leave. I think because it's getting kind of. Lunch time. But we lunch brought time. Our lunch, we so. brought our own lunch. We'll show you guys the sandwiches we make. They're probably gonna be dramatic because the cheese will have melted by the time we're having lunch. The everything will have melted because this cooler box is not like the highest score of the quality. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, you even have placeholders here. <laughs> the sand is nice, but then the sand in our country is white. No, my country is yes, white. Yes, because you have more coral. You, you, yes, the sand in Peru is um, Great. what color? Great. And then there's no, there's no much seaweed here, but this part looks ab abandoned. Like you can see, when I turn the camera, look, it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. And then I turn it back this way. Ta da! And here we the are. Beach. In the company of everyone. to make a perfect mimosa so we have oh that, that's enough already because this <laughs> this cup is too tiny mm -hmm. and then i have my juice here don't worry i just can you hold okay wait here i hold it for you i just carry it i just put it in a bottle because <laughs> this is a water bottle you know we have to be to improvise because the, the juice box is too big and then you pour like like so so mm. you have your mimosa congratulations that's perfect <laughs> it actually not tastes, an easy task it doesn't taste like in the restaurants <laughs> mm. is it some, the plastic something is missing i think it's a too much is plastic the canned but... juice or the cheap wine salut, guys. salut you know bringing your stuff to the beach your umbrella your food is all fun and games until this point look at that there is literally sand everywhere on this on this what is it called cover this, this cover and so it's like we are on top of the sand so that's why sometimes sometimes we usually get the, the umbrellas they're called the leaders and they cost like two no 18 euros for the whole days it depends on the place yesterday we and went the to season. a place Acuera, See. yesterday tell them where we yeah, went and it how was, much it cost it was like 50 for the first row 40 for the second row it's ridiculous it was either half lunch or sit by the beach yeah. and we, yeah? we we just had our lunch and then we went and sat by the beach we didn't have an umbrella because we were planning to pay for those needles yeah so. it was also not as hot anymore it was later in the day yeah. but i do have to say something she may be right about this stuff happening but that's because ghetto, ghetto it's ghetto because you let it get ghetto what do you mean when you put the thing in the sun it all gets sunny babe, anyway. you have to grow up with a beach culture so that you're used oh, to packing oh, i'm so sorry here we go it's my fault i didn't grow up in the beach my my, my husband grew up in a beach house <laughs> Did you no, grow up not exactly <laughs> but you know <laughs> lima is right in front and we, you would go pitch a, a, an umbrella and your things and you keep it nice and tidy and all together and you have a really nice smooth operation Oh, so. Tight ship running here, <laughs> not here. Here's just so, the mess. So you didn't grow up in a beach house? No. You shouldn't no. be talking. That's the goal, though. Then you shouldn't be That's talking. That's the goal. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. I grew up in a in a not beach place, but you just have to enjoy every small moment of life. You know, this is nice. The sea, my. <laughs> forgot about this awesome invention see that it's like a little tray and it goes right here after after we've drunk everything that's when you put it at bed that's we don't even have any more drinks remaining for that for it to hold 
That's what you think. Oh my god, that's yeah. so... See, so we have a nice little tray. What do you think? And then, wait, let me cool. see if it works. Cool. Where is it? Okay. You even have room for snacks. Man. That's nice. Where do, you act, for this. where do you act like you're the one who invented it? I feel like I did. Now it's time to make a sandwich for Pancho because he's hungry. I'm not just hungry. So we have bread. This will be a weird sandwich because we don't have a toaster or a sandwich maker. That's the same thing. Toaster sandwich maker. Anyway, we have our bread here. And then we have this cheese that he showed you before. It's stracciatella. Stracciatella. Stracia. When I came here, I had a hard time pronouncing it. I would mm. go to, the, to ask for cheese in the supermarket and I'm like, stracciatella. <laughs> you have to know how to pronounce it. So it's very, 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 very yummy. It's not as spongy. This is what it looks like. You see that? Mm. So we have it's creamy. Uh huh. So we put some cheese on the bread like that. This will be a very basic sandwich, by the way. You can borrow the recipe if you want. It's my grandmother. <laughs> and then we have. This ham, it's, it's the ham from this region. Claro, I don't know. Claro. With hams, you find some saltier than the others. I think the one I tasted in Leche, where we were before, were not as salty. No, it was Albero Bello. Mm -hmm. So this is what we have, like this. One, how many do you want? Those. Two, like that. And that's it, guys. That's what we have for our sandwich. Wait, no, three maybe, you know? Three. <laughs> we Depende are cuanto amor. We are missing onions. Ah, no, <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> it's just a basic sandwich that you eat at the beach. Everybody's either eating a sandwich or a pizza or a cold pasta dish, you know, just to pass your day. Let me taste it for, for you. Made with love. Mama mia, good boy. It's very good. <laughs> it's actually very yummy. Here you go, Pancho. I'll make mine later. Is this sandwich for the beach? For the wind. Another of my favorite things to do at the beach is to bring a book I'll never read. This one is called The Secret History. Pancho chose this book for me because when we left home, I forgot to bring my books which are either in Spanish or in Italian. Mm -hmm. Mostly in Spanish, really. And that's Pancho's fault too, no? And that's Pancho's fault. I don't know. I'm in page 22. I still don't understand what's going on. I just know there's a prof, a Greek professor. Anyway, I won't tell you about <laughs> the book. And Pancho brought his too, that he's been reading since we were in, um, on our honeymoon in Pintaka. Now that's like four months Mentirosa. ago. He's still in page 12. Oh, Show us your book, babe. Do you even have it here? See. Si. Show us. First of all, she's lying. I'm not even on page 20. And I did just start this book, which is not the same one that was... They all look the same. I well, I mean, the, the other one you're thinking of was a Spanish author. This is a Peruvian author. And rereading this book from a long time ago, Mario Vargas Llosa, Pantaleon, y las visitadoras. This is fun. Sounds, try it. Sounds boring though. Show us the name of the... Let me see the book. What's the name of the book? Why are you posing them? <laughs> it's just for the book. <laughs> We are leaving and we are among the last people to leave. There are we still there's still some people left. I think they are waiting for the sunset. But we're gonna go change and go catch the sunset somewhere else. I had so much fun even though I slept most of the time and I read two pages of my book. This is actually the best time of the day. Pancho swam a lot. Swam. Is that the correct English? Swam. swam. A lot. I also get, got in the water for a few minutes. Anyway guys. That's our day at the beach, but wait for the sunset. It's gonna be so beautiful. Oh.